Good to see you. Yeah, you too, brother. Where are you calling in from? Man, I'm calling in from Dallas, Fort Worth. All right. Yeah. It's a good city. It is. It is. Great market. Good city. I was born and raised here. And so uh, I didn't travel too far after I started uh, to pursue my career in real estate. Understandable. I actually went there for, for New Year's Eve this year. Oh, yeah? Where'd you go? So a buddy of mine, he throws a party at the top of the Crescent. <laughs> nice. And it's um, it's like all raising money for charity, but he threw he throws that. He's invited me in the past, so I finally made it. It was awesome. That's awesome, man. So where are you from, David? I'm in Indianapolis, and yeah. I'm from St. Louis originally, though. Okay, so do you uh, you know Ryan Doss or not? Yeah, Ryan Dossie fairly well. Yeah, I actually know him really well. Yeah, Ryan's a good guy, man. I've uh, I've worked with him in the past. Did a little mentorship together when I first started out. I'm a huge fan of Ryan. Good dude. That's awesome. Me too. Yeah, 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 man. Well, first and foremost, thanks for, for joining with me, man. And uh, just a huge shout out to you, David, on your product, Dill Machine. You guys blowing it up to what it is right now and continue to just exceed the expectations, man. My hat's off to you for building such an amazing product, to say the least. Thank you. You're talking like somebody who's made some money from Dill Machine. <laughs> I have, man. Dill Machine has been a huge part of our business, man. I actually, uh, I was just on a podcast with Brent Daniels and mm -hmm. we talked quite a bit about that as well. And just how I've built a team off of Dill Machine and how our backend data entry support and how we've really been able to maximize uh, using a product like that. And I've tried several in the past. We started off literally like using a, a notepad on our phone, typing in addresses. And then we tried like drive for drive by REI or something like that, two or three. And then kept hearing about this deal machine. I was like, well, I got to check this out, man. Everyone's talking about this. Once we rolled over to that, it was like, this is it. This is, if I could make an app for driver dollars, this, this guy has got it figured out right here. So. Oh, I appreciate you saying that. Yeah, of course. What's, uh, what's the biggest difference that you found with deal machine that you really liked? So the biggest difference with me, man, is really the fact that like, it's so easy to use. So the interface on it, we're able to get in there. We've been able to make, very easy training videos you guys support is amazing anytime we need an answer it's like man it's getting back to us ASAP uh, the other softwares we've tried in the past you know it take a week two weeks to hear back from support the lags everything else that go with it and it's like man we're, we're paying for a product that we're not getting any type of communication or customer service out of so one how easy it is uh, two, the support you guys have and three just all the functionalities that are in it man being able to go in there, skip trace, being able to use the mailer function, uh, being able to create multiple tags. So you can then filter those out on the back end when you're doing marketing purposes, whether it be cold calling, direct mail. Yeah. Uh, there's so many different things that you can use with it. And it allows us to really focus on the big data points that the machine has, break them down, and then really get uh, uh, you know, nitty and gritty and niche and granular with our, our targeting methods. Okay. What's, our, what's some examples of some tags that you might use? Yeah. So our main tags, man, we try to break it down in like four main areas, right? So we've got what's called driving for dollars bulk. So that's not going to be the house that's like just horribly distressed, but there's going to be some signs of distress, right? So that's one of the main ones. Uh, we've got what's called asterisk owner occupied. And so what that means is like, it's someone's obviously living there, but this home needs quite a bit of work. Uh, we've also got vacant, uh, properties, which is a, a huge source for us as well. And then we do empty lots. And so we try to make sure that when we're doing this, we've got four main categories and then at least one to two others that are saying, so like, is there a bad roof on there? Is there foundation issues? Is there metal flowing out of the mailbox? Uh, just the signs that go along with that. So we're then able to break that down on our back end and say, okay, here's all of our, our drive large bulk that have at least two tags with it and really focus on those and then obviously break them off from vacants, uh, segment those and target on those and we use those for the mailers. Uh, we individually call those leads because usually they're gonna be the hottest ones. And what we found with Dill Machine, why it's so great, man, is like we're able to build lists that like you can't, you can't find anywhere. You can't buy it online, it, it's impossible to do. So when you're putting the effort in with a product like that, it allows you to really maximize the opportunities that like, a vacant house that's vacant that they may be paying on that people don't realize it's vacant is, and you're, you're able to see that with, with something like Dill Machine, man. 
And so it's been a huge eye opener for us as far as getting that, that extra leverage from the marketing standpoint. Man, that's awesome. That's gold right there. I love hearing that. You guys have fully utilized and figured out all the ways to use the software, like with the tags, for example. Yeah. Yeah, man. And then, you know, one of the big things too, um, you know, you have to export all the data out. And so we use a VA that we've just taught, we've trained them, uh, created a playbook out of it to be able to really make sure that we're going through there, sourcing those tags. The cool thing is we're able to see like the uh, last sold date. So then if we've had any house that sold in the last five years, boom, we can automatically put those out that are already in there. Or as a driver, when you're looking at these houses, you can train them, say, hey, this house sold last year, yeah, it's distressed. There's probably just based on statistics, it's not gonna be one you really wanna add and target sometimes because we've got that data ahead of time to be able to analyze it uh, right then and there when it's built. That's awesome. Yeah, man, so it's been amazing. We built a team off of it too, you know, we've got, We've got a handful of drivers that, that go and drive for us. We're going to be going to virtual markets. We've created very easy infographics, PDF structure on how to use a uh, dill machine, how to break it down. And so we're looking to really scale this. Uh, and it, it's difficult to scale a lot of different products in this industry because of it just having a lot of limitations. With dill machine, you can literally take it anywhere in the United States that you want to, and you're able to maximize on separating yourself from all your competition. Yeah, I would love to see what those infographics look like if you'd be willing to share after the call at some point. Just yeah, want to for sure. And the infographics out there. we're talking about it's really for like the hiring steps of it. Yeah, and then you've got like a playbook that dives more into like the dill machine side of it. For like, you know, you can video record it on your phone. Uh, we've got some recordings of us driving and just really breaking it down and showing how simple it is to go out there for people that need extra income. Man, our our main source is finding either people that are retired or people that are like in Uber Lyft groups uh, that have want a symbiotic job. They're always in neighborhoods. They drive for a living anyways. And so being able to reach out to them with an app that they're already used to, like Uber or Lyft, that's very uh, easy to use from a functional standpoint, it's, it's a no-brainer. You just got to get it in front of people, give them the education, and then, bam, you're able to build a team to, to help drive for you and, and build your business. Understood. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, man. I love it too. I want to just thank you. Thank you for it. Of course. <laughs> thank you, Justin. I really appreciate you taking the time to get on this call and tell me all that. You could be spending that building your business and I just, I appreciate it so much. It's so valuable for me. Yeah, man. Of course, dude. Thank you for all you're doing. I look forward to seeing it continue to, to evolve to the next level and whatever I can do to spread the word, man, you let me know and you've got a testimony from me any, any day you need it. Man, I appreciate it. Well, so a couple of things I wanted to let you know about that yeah. are come, um, we've got a bulk uploader coming and that's basically going to let you um, input any like properties that you're already marketing to that you don't want to pay a driver to also add. You get what I'm saying? Because if yeah. you're marketing to that tax delinquent list, you really don't want to pay your driver for finding that property because they've already, you've already got it. So so now it'll show on the map, um, it'll let the drivers know you've already got that property in your system. That is huge. That is so, so, so huge. So you're able to literally take a list that you have, put them in there and see them in the field. So you already know like, hey, we've spent money on this. We've got them in our system. Right. Wow. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna see them in the field. And then the other thing that is um, coming up is actually an imp a big improvement to the maps. And so a lot of people, they want to um, only add properties that have like absentee owner or only owner occupied. And um, you're basically going to be able to see that whatever that key information is for you on the map. So you can uh, see like the parcel boundaries and then you can see like what the owner name is, or you can see what type of owner it is absentee owned, for example. So that's going to be a, a map enhancement that's coming as well at the end of this month. Nice, man. Uh, one thing I wanted to ask you about, uh, so like on the KPI standpoint, are y'all going to be, and we've used y'all's KPIs. We've obviously been able to do it because we we export all this and we can see the, the owner name and all that, but from an analytical standpoint inside the dashboard, mm -hmm. um, how is that going to be? Cause, and I may not just know how to do it on my end, but being able to really filter it out and like have a week by week, month by month, quarter by quarter breakdown for the drivers in the field to make sure that the production and all that's in place. Oh yeah. 
So do you have your, your computer on you right now? If yeah. not, I can log in and show you some stuff. Yes, I do. You want me to log in to Dome Machine? Yes, and if you're cool, share your screen. I'll walk you through yeah, absolutely, man. a couple tips on the analytics side. Hey, let's see. Can you see it on my end now? Yeah, perfect. Awesome, man. All right, so let's go into Deal Machine. There's Joy. She's letting me know you were ready for your meeting. <laughs> I, I didn't get yeah, back to her yet because I jumped right on the call with you. I know you're a busy dude, man, so I just wanted to make sure everything was still good for us syncing up today. All right, so yes you want to click on the icon below that which is the analytics okay so here we go analytics will show here all right so basically you see on the right hand side where there's like a filter option yeah okay click on that so basically you can filter all the analytics by um let's say like a specific driver so like what's one of your active drivers we could look at uh, we'll use timothy griffiths right here okay press update analytic filters there we go there you go. All right. So this is um, on the top. You have a four week, month to date, year to date, and custom timeline to compare to. So one thing I prefer, I always like the month to date. Yeah, go ahead and click on that one. All right. So you can see that Timothy is adding fewer properties this month. Yeah. Yeah. And he was on vacation. That makes perfect sense. Okay, good. Yeah. And then if you scroll down, there are some more graphs you can look at. So um, none of the mailers have sent for his deals. Yes. Okay. That makes sense. And then the profit side of it. So like with these deals that we get, cause I've got a spreadsheet that I, I log all of our, our revenue and everything in and our VA works on. And so how would I go in there and start knowing, okay, Hey, here is the property. Here is, how could I add those analytics? I guess to deal machine. Yeah. Um, more consistently is something that I want to make sure that we can train our guys on as well and our VAs for whenever that we come across those deals. Mm -hmm. All right. So on the left hand side, um, go ahead and click on the uh, dollar sign. Those are your deals. And then go to the list view and we'll just click on a random deal there. All right. Yeah. Click on that guy. And then what you would do is um, scroll down to the status. And right now the status is pending approval, but if you click on that, you can change the status to one deal. So if you scroll down and you see that one deal option, so that, that would actually um, allow you to put in how much profit you made on that deal right there. Okay. Once you change perfect. the status. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, we've been doing that and I'll look at the, I know you guys have a lot of integration with what you do. Uh, and so instead of doing our spreadsheet, I'm going to start having them, training them to start focusing on, on really updating this portion of it as well. That's huge. Yeah. So that's how you do it. It's pretty easy. You can, um, let's click on it just so, so you can see what it looks like. One deal? Yeah, we'll change the status for this deal. We can change it back. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Oh, here we go. There you go. All right. So close off that badge. It's like on the, there you go. Ring that okay. bell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So you plug in your exit strategy. So let's say you wholesaled this deal. Okay. And now you've got a place to input your profit, your, you know, the, the contract price and then the, the wholesale fee on top of that. Um, and then once you save that, then that'll like show up on your profit graph that we were looking at. Okay. Okay. Dang, I'm getting all these fake badges. I love it. It's getting me excited. Yes, okay. sir. Yeah. Let's go back to the analytics. Here we go. There it is. Okay. And it gets you a, a, based on your filters up here, year to date, custom. That is beautiful. So you can break it down from a quarterly basis, however you want pretty much inside this uh, filter, huh? Yeah. hundred percent. Yeah. There's a uh, custom options. So you could put whatever dates in you want. So if you keep scrolling down, I just wanted to show you the, the rest of the graphs here and um, miles driven is really fun to look at. Okay. Um, time driven as well. It looks like 40, uh, 45, wait, that 400, that's a lot of hours. No, no. <laughs> what I think happened is uh, he may have kept his deal machine open, had to have. <laughs> that's impossible. Okay. Yeah, he left it open for a long time, maybe. Yeah. That had to have been it. I'll, I'll get in touch with him on that. See, now I know okay. this enough to be able to look at it and give that feedback to the guys in the field. Wow. Okay. You've got 32, 33,000 deals in there. Yeah. Quite a bit, man. 
you are a power user, just like your web browser. <laughs> we want to get this to 100,000. That's, that's our goal, dude. Oh, we man. Like Dallas. We, we focus mostly in the outside markets in Fort Worth. So now right. we're really focused on bringing two to three people in Dallas. And so, I mean, you know how big that city is in the sub market. So we're excited to, to ramp that uh, market up and get these numbers up as well. Right, 100%. This is a fantastic uh, use of the tool. And what markets are you going to open up um, virtually? Yeah, we're going to be going to, so two that are at the top of my mind, uh, Jacksonville, Florida, and then Little Rock, Arkansas. Okay, blowing it up. Yeah, man. So I did some analytics on both those and also connections I have in those markets. Mm -hmm. Hedge funds that put a lot of money into uh, data and they're, they're pretty good marks. I like what I'm seeing there as far as our model goes. And so those are going to be the first two we hit. And then kind of getting that virtual system down, man, it's totally different. So making sure we have that infrastructure and then just scaling it from there. Right. So are you utilizing the training portal that we have attached to your driver recruitment page and stuff? I don't think so, David. No. Do you know about that? No, I don't. Okay. Go to your, uh, yeah. Click on the dots then click on team. And then go to collect deal finders, click that button and uh, click on this page, set page live. So live right here. Yep. Yeah. So you can set up your own landing page with um, where it says custom link. You could put in your company name. That is game changing. You've got all the videos. Yeah. So we've done all the videos. Real, David. And I've got it all right here. Didn't yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. So we've done all the videos and, um, you know, information for your landing page. And then if you scroll up, you can click on the training videos tab and you can say, require your deal finders to do training. So just pop that on real quick. So I can literally just send them this link. Yes. And... <laughs> yeah. So click on some of these videos. You can see that we've actually um, pre-recorded those as well. Of course you can always put your own in there. Um, so payment structure, that's one that, um, you might find interesting right here. Yeah. Cause we've got videos for every, you know, type of common payment structure. And wow. then, um, same thing for distress level. If you click on that one, you can see we've got videos for different levels of distress. Um, you might have to figure out which one means more distress and less distress, but that's pretty much what the levels mean. That is amazing. So I can up you so I can upload some of my own stuff in here too. Yeah, you, if you would do that, you would just have to click the custom radio button. Okay. You put your own video right there. Dude, this is insanely amazing right here. Wow. I've been doing all of ours off of a paper doc with <laughs> you. I literally tried to recreate it because I didn't realize this. And this is like this takes so much stress off of like the process we currently have in place. I'm so glad to hear that. This is pretty new. This came out about a month or two ago. So okay. you're, that makes me feel better. That makes yeah. me feel better. You haven't missed it too, for too long. Wow. I am going to literally dive into this right now. I've got like 10 people that are in the pipeline for new drivers in uh, this market in Jacksonville. And I'm, I'm just running off of this right here. Yeah. Great. Perfect. You're amazing, David. This is awesome stuff, man. Hey, so I was curious. Well, thank you, first of all. <laughs> You're amazing, Justin. I was wondering, what's been your success rate like? You, you, know, you had 33,000 deals in here. What's the deal flow been like so far? Yeah, so I, I believe, and I'll look at the KPIs again. So we closed 97 deals in DFW last in 2019. And I think out of those 97, man, like 42 or 44 were from Deal Machine. Oh, dude, Justin, Insane. you've got to do an in-depth case study. Yes, absolutely, man. I would love to do that. We have to. Yes. And if, if you um, are interested, I would love to have you do one of our like biweekly webinars um, yeah. where it, it's kind of like a, nothing you have to prepare for. It's an hour. Uh, I'll even pay you to come and do it actually. Dude, I would love to do that. 100%. It, it's just an hour. The format's a live Q and a, and we get people asking all kinds of questions and you're going to have all the answers because you've done it. Dude, I would love that, man. And now that I know this extra stuff on here and I was implementing that, I'll have a much broader view of just like all the functions in here I didn't even know about that recently came out. And so however I can add value, David, you count me in, dude, for real. Man, this is amazing. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm stoked about that for sure. Awesome. Thank you so much in advance. I'll get with you after this to, yeah. you know, explain the details and scheduling and all that. Dude, that'll work with me, man. I appreciate your time too. And uh, like I said, bro, just keep, keep up the amazing work, man. I, I'm a huge fan of what you're doing and you're just getting started. It's the tip of the iceberg. So I'm excited to see you continue to blow up. Oh man. Thank you, Justin. I appreciate it. So are you a one man team? What's your, besides your drivers or what is your, what is your actual... Yeah, I've got a I've got a full team, man. So I've got uh, five acquisition managers, a uh, team full of twenty two total. But in house, I've got seven uh, people in house, and then I've got I think seven drivers for me right now in DFW, and I'm looking to get ten for this market here. Uh, but yeah, total twenty two with just our entire operations with seven in house. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty serious operation. Yeah, man, it's been a it's been a journey. It started two years ago. I helped create the uh, establish a company called Open Door and DFW. And then I loved working with them, but like as an entrepreneur, man, I just, I had to take that leap. And so did that, took my learnings from there, found out the softwares I needed, what I didn't, and uh, just got to work on it, man. And the rest is history. It's amazing what hard work will do for a man, as you know. Oh man, dude, there's so much gold in here. It's so interesting you work for, I mean, Open Door is like an eye buyer. No, dude, right. I'm literally using them on a lot of my exit strategies now, which is funny. Uh, to literally sell my properties. And one of my, the main guys who I trained when he first got here, he's like, he's sharp cab and he moved up quickly and they're starting to roll out. I've got a meeting with them next week. Um, they're going to be teaming up, man, in their markets with people that are wholesaling, flipping, where open doors literally going to be buying the house, putting all the capital up and giving you like an 80% return versus what you would typically get 100% with you using none of your money. So they're going to be testing that and uh, I may be one of the beta tests on it. And so I'll keep you posted on how that looks too. It's pretty exciting stuff. That is exciting. Well, it would only make sense for you to be the beta tester. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, two and a half years there, I was, I was pretty pumped to hear that. And so they've right. also got a system for if they've got distressed houses that they're not going to offer on because they've got a, you know, a certain criteria and they don't want to be spending too much time on reno to refer those properties off to, uh, you know, investors that have an established company. And so it'll be a good leeway for me, hopefully, um, to, to scale off another market, being able to have a source like that in my back home. Yeah. So I'm excited, man, for sure. That's amazing. Yeah, dude, I'll keep you posted on it too, man. And uh, right. kind of give you an idea of what that's going to look like as well. Perfect. Yeah, man. And uh, let me know what it looks like as far as those next steps, whatever I can do to add value. If it's, We've got a social media content team and we're going to be doing a lot more this year as well. And so if it's me making a video for you or whatever I got to do, man, and I am all for it, dude. I love what you guys are doing over there. Awesome. We may have to actually just um, send a videographer down and do like an in-depth case study if you're open to it. Let's do it, man. I'm yeah. all for it. Love it. Yeah, love it. Cool. I'll follow up soon. I mean, I won't, I won't let that slip through the cracks. Yeah, man. Let me know what the, what I need to do on my end and you can consider it done, David. Keep up the great work, bro. You too. Thanks, Justin. Talk to you soon, man. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.